We get say what's up guys what is going on welcome back hope y'all are doing well liverpool versus norwich city my god i have not seen norwich city play in such a long time nostalgically speaking this was really nice to see norwich city back in action again a uh, very long time i remember back in the day they were going in and out of the epl pretty much so they were in like a constant they were in like a regular uh but it was still nice still nice as for their performance um they were decent yeah i thought they were decent they, they did pretty well uh i never had that feeling though that they there was danger that they might catch up and tie or eat, eat, much less win the game they were never going to do that uh they weren't they weren't that much of a matchup uh, a rival for for liverpool uh, i didn't have that same feeling that i did when i was watching manchester united play against the uh, derby county where it just seemed like man not only are they gonna lose but they're gonna get destroyed they're gonna get smashed by uh, Derby County. I did not have that just because Manchester United, I mean, Liverpool, they don't make the, the mistakes. Uh, you know, they're a lot more secure. They're not making goof ups. They're not doing uh, dumb stuff in the back or in the middle. Um, there's never that sense that, you know, that anguish, like, oh my God, like they're going to, even when they score in two goals, I think it was a 4 2. I never had that, oh, they're going to get the 4 3, and then maybe they're going to get the 4 4. Not at all. I did not get that impression from uh, Norwich City. Now, they did have chances, especially in the first half. And uh, they did pretty, again, they did pretty well. They did what they could. The second half, they had that offside, which was beautifully played. Unfortunately, it was an offside. And yes, it was an offside. But um, besides that, I mean, and right after that was the goal from Sainz, which was, for me, it was the best goal, the best goal of the game. Really tight angle. Uh, there was no way uh, Allison was going to get there. Really superb goal by uh, Sainz. Um, and that's it. That's pretty much it. Like I said, they didn't have much to do. They didn't play horribly. They weren't an embarrassment. I thought they did well uh, being in the championship. And uh, Liverpool was pretty much just going to like win this from, from the get-go. It just it just seemed that way. I don't know, that feeling. It just They just give you that feeling when they're playing football. Did they play phenomenal? No, even though it was a 5-2. Yeah, 5-2. It was just like another day at the office for Liverpool. So it wasn't the most entertaining game, but it also wasn't the, uh, the most boring game. What I did find really, really entertaining, and not only entertaining, but I absolutely enjoyed very much was the performance of Connor Bradley phenomenal fantastic uh, performance by Connor Bradley not only did he get I don't know two or three or maybe two assists but um his performance his effort I mean you could tell he really wants to progress he really wants to play he really wants to stay there he wants to be a starter and he's doing everything he can it's just how focused he is there's nothing that's going to take this kid off of his game when he's playing his game there is nothing on his mind and I don't think you can say that about many players, especially these days, especially in these teams like Barcelona and Manchester United. It seems like they got other stuff on their mind or they're they're feeling the pressure. You know, you, you don't see that from uh, Connor Bradley. He's not feeling anything. He's just feeling like he wants to make an effort, like he wants to he wants to stand out. He wants to impress. He wants to he cares. He cares a lot about where he's at and he really wants to do the best he can for for his team. And he loves this club. Uh, that's that's what I see from Connor Bradley. Just he loves Liverpool, the way he's playing. He might look like Shaggy from Scooby-Doo, but man, he plays phenomenally. He had a, such a good game. Stealing the ball away, the 1-2, and then the pass to Nunez. Brilliant. That was all him. That was all him. Nunez, you better buy this guy dinner. You better have, I don't know, hoisted him on your shoulders in the locker room. Because if it wasn't for him, you know, he wouldn't have scored that goal. Um, he did have, Nunez did have a chance in the first half too with a really nice in-swinger and hitting the, the second post. But Connor Bradley, man, like he could do no wrong. I think he like got dispossessed or he lost the ball maybe once in the first half. But after that, every touch was just magnificent. It was just on point. Everything he did it was, was on point. And again, the effort, the effort. I want him to stay. I know that Alexander Arnold, he's coming back. Uh, this other guy, I always want to call him Patterson. Robertson, you know, is back. But there has to be a way where you can integrate these three players because he is phenomenal. And I don't get, like, I don't have, well, maybe I do. Okay, maybe I do. I do have something against uh, Alexander Arnold is that he doesn't defend. And he was a defender, wasn't he? A left back or right back, you know, when he first started. So what the hell? What do you mean you can't defend? Get out of here, you know? He's he's great with the ball passing, but he's not the best. Maybe he's very crucial for, for Liverpool, but he's not the greatest. I mean... As good as he plays when he's playing and, you know, when he does his thing offensively, he's not playing in a national team. He's not playing for England. But still, like, you should be in the team. You play that well and you're playing for Liverpool. There is no way you should not be in this team, in the national team, that is. 
So it really bugs me that he's staying and you got someone like Connor Bradley that's just like killing himself. And not only is he not making the effort, but it's it's working out. And you want I want him to grow. I want him to keep getting better. He's going to get better if he gets more playing time. I don't want this kid to go on loan. Don't do that. I don't think that's going to happen, but please, please give this man, you know, give this kid a, a chance to play to show himself, you know, because he's going to get better. I just hope it's it's to the point where you just can't deny and you have to you have to start him every match where he makes he wants to make that position his own and they help him get that they help him achieve that so phenomenal performance by him it was really good to see Sobo Sly it was really good to see again uh Trent Alexander Arnold coming back uh Robertson Diaz in the end Diaz with a little like uh skill move the the control and then uh passing it to Gravenberg uh, really nice to see Gravenberg get his goal because I know it's been kind of frustrating for him um Sobosly also it was really nice to see him uh what's his name Van Dyke getting his goal as well Jota even though it was a, a mistake by Gibson but really really good with the volley and you could tell he, he was he was feeling himself he was so confident after that volley that he scored that he was trying to do that again he was trying to repeat that uh in subsequent plays but the, it, it wasn't panning out he was sending it uh, over the crossbar but um yeah very simple very easy easy game I think for 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 Liverpool, I don't think there was much much to it. Um, but really nice to see again Connor Bradley. Oh, and uh, the other young kid, uh, uh, McConnell, McConnell, uh, McConnell with the pass to Curtis Jones, a lead pass. I mean, the caliber of that pass was amazing. I hope he didn't get injured. I don't know what happened towards the end. He's another one that deserves the the accolades because he he played a really good game. McConnell played a really really good game, and that's it. That's it. That's pretty much it for for this game. Klopp leaving. Yeah, I know it's uh it sucks. It sucks. Uh, he's done so much for this club. But such is life. Such is life. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching, as always. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Cheers.